All publicists have the same strategy. First, you do 60 Minutes when you're selling a book, and then you go on The View to talk about what you said on 60 Minutes. You saw that happen with the former FBI director, and now you're watching with his deputy, Andrew McCabe. He was on 60 Minutes the other day, and now he's taking a victory lap around America's media landscape. And predictably, he was on The View today to justify the DOJ's plan to spy on, undermine, and perhaps overthrow the elected president of the United States. Here's part of it. You understand how far we had been pushed to even to even have a conversation that included those statements. We were all operating under incredible stress. We were all grappling with this idea that we have a president who we think may have committed obstruction of justice, who we think may in fact be a threat to national security. What do we do in this circumstance? Because Russia! One man who likes the sound of that idea is University of Minnesota law professor and dumpster fire expert Richard Painter. He has endorsed the idea of having the cabinet invoke the 25th Amendment to remove the president. Richard Painter joins us now. Professor, thanks very much for coming on. Good to see you tonight. Um, so Good to see. So how exactly would this work? Would, I mean, it's obviously never been attempted. This is not the, the kind of scenario it was designed for. But in your mind, how would they remove the president? By force? With firearms? Nets? I mean, how would this play out, practically speaking? Well, first, Tucker, I want to tell you, we're in a great tie tonight. I love you having the University of Minnesota colors there. In your uh, honor. I, uh, I've talked about the 25th Amendment uh, a number of times uh, with respect to this president. It was uh, uh, put into the Constitution late 1960s to address the situation in which the president is physically or mentally uh, incapacitated, unable to carry out his duties in right. office. No, no, uh, I mean, we, we know what it is. I mean, we're not law professors thousands. like you, but we know what it is. How would, but how would you affect yeah. it? How would you do it? Presumably the president wouldn't concede to being overthrown. So would you rush into his office? Would you rouse him from bed? Like, how would you do this? No, this isn't the, no you don't overthrow the president. None of the, this is not well, about yes, overthrowing are. the president. Okay. Uh, there are thousands of psychiatrists who have voiced a extreme concern about President okay. Trump's well, I get it. You, you get some and compliant shrinks the, to agree he shouldn't be president. I'm sure you could probably yeah. get 99 percent of them to say that. I, I, I would not be surprised. Under the 25th but Amendment, what do you do? the cabinet, the majority of the cabinet and the vice president could temporarily remove the president from office. But how and do they, they could, do for that? Example, temporarily. No. No, they, I get, I've read they, the amendment, but how do they, they, how do they get him out the of the office? He, I assume, wouldn't well, want to go. That's do they, not the they point physically him? removing. They, okay. That's not what's provided for in the Constitution, physically removing him from an office. The objective is to have the vice president of the United States take over the duties of the president temporarily while the president, for example, would get a psychiatric exam, and then the United States Congress well, would make the ultimate to? I mean, decision we're almost out of time. Just, just put some meat on these bones. So you're always rushing around. We need 25th Amendment. The president says, I'm not crazy. I don't want to leave. I was elected by voters two years ago. I'm not leaving. And then you do what? If the majority of the cabinet, the vice president, uh, were to temporarily remove the president, then it would be up to two-thirds of the United States House and Senate to permanently remove the president under the 25th Amendment. But they, and the psychiatric yeah. okay. exam might very we're, well. we're out of time. Look, think this through a little bit. Come back, and we can play it all out. Because um, you've just started your own we just dumpster some fire time in to my talk mind, about the and I want you to Amendment. douse it with the... Uh, the cool fluid of reason, if you would. Richard Painter, great you to see you. You don't need the dumpster you. fire for this. No way. No, you don't. No, you don't. We're out of time, unbelievably. Could go on forever.